All right, I'm going to continue part two modeling this uh, oscilloscope. This is where we left off last time. And I realized that there's something I wanted to do here differently. So let's see if I can fix up the problem here. And I think I probably can. What I wanted is I wanted this to be a solid piece. So I'm going to come out to there. And I'm going to get rid of that. And turn off the bevel for the moment. And let's see what we got here. I'm going to get rid of that edge. No, I'm just going to do it this way. And I'm going to get rid of that edge. And there's that one. And I want it to actually fill it. Okay. I wanted that to be like that. So all of these pieces are going to come out. It's not a big problem at all. We can solve this. That's better. Okie dokie. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and bring it over here. just ever so slightly different. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna take this, but I'm gonna get rid of the arrays. I'm gonna scale this up. center and also up at the top I'm gonna make them bigger but I'm not gonna make them in the bigger in the Y like this select this, set the origin of geometry, and cursor to select it, and I'm going to bring in a circle, I'll go for 22 vertices, okay, send this back as well and then we'll bevel 
just like this. I'll put one segment in. And we're going to control two and shade smooth. And I think I want to make a couple changes here. I don't think I want this so big. So. And then I'm going to put an edge loop there and there. And I'll make that a bit smaller. Okay, so let's, uh, let's scale shift Y that. Bring it in a little tighter. Oh. these a little bit more if we wanted a bit of variation in height cool coming along I was thinking for this let's just take this bring it down let's break the array on that and what I'm going to do here is the following Gonna be little switches of sorts. Sliders actually perhaps is a better word for it. Uh, I'm gonna add an array to this in Z. that face. I'm just going to have a look at this. Let's see what it's looking like. That's the kind of idea. Let's make it a bit bigger, maybe like halfway. I don't think I need a post going down. Okay, so I'm going to break it out. Okay, so what's going on here? Um, Take that bevel off that. 
let's do it this way. Can I do it that way? Yeah, that'll be okay. And then I, I'll take off the array as well. what I was thinking of something like that yeah almost done really and then um, the bolts and the way I think I'll do this I select this and bring the 3d cursor there um, I might do it this way as well many vertices. But I'm going to use it a lot. the array and use these as bolts so let's try them let's see if I have to make it smaller or what I think I would Just to, just to do that, tighten it up a little bit. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. Just a final look around. I think I've done what I came to do here. Okay, and um, I think final thing I want to do is put some kind of little feet on this um, I'm not 
sure what kind I want. I was thinking of cylindrical. it off you never see the feet themselves they would just be there but you know I'd feel more comfortable if they were closed and I don't care about using a few more polys or even just even just this much but of course then I'd have to do more so so let's do it I'll just uh, set the origin of the 3D cursor, which it is, and we'll mirror this. There we go. That's what I wanted. And let's have a look. Yeah, it just props it up just a little bit. Let's select... Um, Everything. Oh yeah, can't tell really. <laughs> Select everything here. There we go. We go to edit mode. Select it all. So about that. All ten recalculate outside, just in case and the polys were flipped. Let's uh, shift C, send the 3D cursor back to the center there, and we'll turn off overlays and have a look at our work. Okay, so it takes a while to get to that point, but that's basically it. And I'll call this uh, oscilloscope. Select it all. And control C and save. And uh, yeah, let's come over to this. That's what we got. There it is. The oscilloscope is in place now. Cool. That was fun. I don't know where I rendered that from. Maybe from there. Awesome. Alright, thanks for watching.